What is going on guys? I'm Rogue and today what I'm bringing you guys is some title basin challenging difficulty. I am solo and I did solo this throughout the entirety of it, but since the video was going to be like an hour and something long, I wasn't going to post all that. But without further ado guys, um I would like to point out that I'm actually way under geared for this. I'm actually gear score 1 or 450 something, I don't remember, like 453. Um, what I have to say about Tidal Basin is, it's probably one of the more, I guess, difficult ones. I, I mean, I wouldn't, I would say that they're all kind of equally difficult in their own way, but, um, none of them were, like, too painstakingly hard, where it's just, like, I have to go and, you know, actually gear up for it. I just went in with I just played it the first time because you have to play it in the story uh, version of it first and then after you have to beat like uh, three story missions and then the other uh, stronghold which I also soloed that one on challenging basically I did everything on challenging and soloed it all um, and then I came to this one and it ended up uh, being somewhat a little longer than expected only because Apparently, if gear score matters, and yeah, I'm pretty undergeared, and it just took me more than an hour or so to do it. So, the pros and cons of Tidal Basin, if you guys aren't into spoilers, there is a spoiler here. Um, I think the Warhounds are a bit strong. Uh, I mean, in my case, they were just one-shotting me most of the time. Uh, the Heavies aren't really too um too powerful i mean they end up going down fairly easy enough um if anything you guys more than likely just have to uh worry about the warhounds themselves because they do do a lot of damage like i said majority of the time they were just one shotting me um and the uh boss the name to boss uh wyvern she's She's got some tricks up her sleeve. Um, there are times where she does become invulnerable to bullets and she'll just spam her grenade launcher. But other than that, there's nothing too hard about it. She just does a lot of damage for the weapon type that she uses. But then again, she's a named boss. So, uh, and then the uh, two two minutes that you get to disable the the rocket turrets. Uh, it's kind of a uh, it amps up the intensity of the game where it's like oh shit you know we gotta hurry up and do this before we lose the game and or fail the mission but um other than that it, it was hard but it wasn't too hard I'm pretty sure it would have been easier if I would have just uh, been up to gear score but I didn't really care about the gear score I just like to go in and get shit done and show you guys that even a solo player can do it, or even an underscored player can do it. But, um, without further ado, guys, just enjoy the video. Uh, if you guys like or like my content in general, do uh, drop a like on there. I would rather you guys leave comments in my uh, videos only because I, I want to know what you guys prefer to see more of. Um, as you guys can see here, I'm also wearing one of the. Uh, visors or masks that you get from collecting all the um, all the uh, apparel items so all the um, event apparel items that you get you collect all of them and then you end up unlocking the uh, face screen that you get or that you see in the video right now so um, I have video on that too uh, but without further ado you guys just enjoy this and uh, subscribe if you're new so enjoy
Keep it safe.
Wyvern, come in. Wyvern. Be sure to collect the antivirals Wyvern was carrying. The antiviral cylinders are secure. We'll make sure they get safely extracted. That's a bit of luck. Agent, you managed to secure the antivirals and shut down a key Black Tusk stronghold. Not to mention preventing a rocket attack on the base of operations. Incredible work, Agent. Truly incredible. But there's still more to do.